So now what we'll do is we'll move on to some slightly more complex objects. For example, this example here is the armor or one leg of the armor and one arm of my robot. And here are some knuckles. Basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you how to create UVs for these three particular objects but if you notice these are very oh, reasonably complex in terms of extra edges added to make tighter edges I guess so that we get a nice clean smooth edge in sub patch mode but for this example what, I'm, what I've done is I've just created simplified versions of it for the tutorial just so that you can get a look at it okay so what we've got going on here well in the original robot UV that I've been working on I basically went in and isolated only the front face basically of each one of these um, bits of armor basically hit the plus key to hide unselected and I was left with just the front face and from there I just did an unwrap oops got symmetry on and what I can do now is pick that surface and select a UV for it okay did I turned on sorry I had the surface picker still selected okay so now we've got that front face UV we can stretch our UVs to create bigger blocks or smaller so that we can have a better look ultimately it doesn't matter what size you have it I mean with something like this you want to fill up the area of the UV as much as possible but um, it doesn't really matter what matters is that once you've got it sized and positioned and you use this UV to create an image you then basically can't um, edit or, or manipulate the UV map because then it won't conform to the image that you've created okay so now We'll get rid of that. I'll, what I'll do is I'll bring back the hidden. And this is pretty much how I did my whole armor. Basically just UVing the front and just creating a simple image. But say you wanted to UV the whole object. That like gets a little bit trickier. So we'll just clear the map. What we need to do is we need to separate the inner part from the front of that. So I've had a bit of a play, so I know how to do this quickly, but there's a little bit of experimenting involved. What I'm trying to do here now is I'm trying to isolate the inner part from the front. Okay. Uh, we've got some extra polygons in there. Whatever. So basically what I've done now is I've separated the inner part from the front and the sides, but you'll notice that I have left our virtual hinges up the top so when this peels away it's still connected to the front okay so we're pretty much ready to go if we hit unwrap and go into polygon mode you'll notice now that the whole entire object has got a UV map and you can see that there is no distortion no distortion or oh, there's a little bit towards the bottom here but very very little distortion so that comes up pretty good and as you can see we've got the bot the inside attached now you don't necessarily have to have them attached but it's just easier to manage when you're moving this around easier to manage rather than managing a whole bunch of pieces but sometimes you have to and we'll have a look at that what I can do is I'll just select our hinges and do it again and you'll notice now that we just get two parts 
Now the fact that these are on angles doesn't really matter. Like I said, when you take this image in to Photoshop and your UV map is on this angle, well you'll paint on the image on that angle conforming to our um, to our UV lines. So once you bring it in, it'll look spot on. It really it really doesn't matter. Unless of course you're using a tileable image and you want it to be straight for whatever reason. Okay. So that's that. Let's move on to the next one. We'll move on to the upper arm. Once again, same thing. What we want to do is we want to separate the inner part from the outer part, but we also want to keep it attached. So what I'll do is is I'll select these edges here. Oops. Okay, so now what we've done is we've separated the inner part from the outer part only on this side. On this other side, we're leaving the hinge. Okay, so now that we've separated that, what we need to do is separate it so that it could flatten out. So we'll grab this, grab all these. So what that'll do is it'll split the whole thing down the middle there and also flip out the inside. So if we hit unwrap, there we go. And once again, I'll just, I like to make it look nice and neat. In this case, it's a little bit big. I mean the plug the, the tool tries to fill up as much room as it can um, as best as it can that's usually why it sort of does it on an angle but um, once again we can select our surface UV and you notice I'm just constantly using the same UV map for a whole bunch of different objects um, and Clearly you can see each one of these objects has got a different name, but we're all using the same UV map, which is really cool, rather than a whole list of different UV maps. So there we have it. We've got our whole piece of armor, which is a reasonably complex sort of um, object. I never would have been able to do this using the other tools, you have to just cut it all up and do really weird stuff but here it's just really really simple let's just have a look at the knuckle because this is a reasonably sort of complex object as well so what we want to do here is, is that we want to keep all this as sort of one whole surface to paint on and these two sides we'll have them separate but somehow we'll try to keep them all joined together. So what we're going to do first up, and once again I'll go through this and I'll fast forward it, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, separate all these individual faces I guess, or these areas that make up each part, the top, the side, and then from there once I've selected all that I'll then go ahead and choose my hinges. So I'll go ahead and I'll go and select all the edges for that and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got, let's just maximize this. Now you can see I've got each one of these sort of faces separated. Next thing is to determine how we want this to unfold. What I want to do is I want to create one long one for the outer ring and I want to create a long one for this for this side underneath and this side. So basically what we want to do is we want to remove these edges to create a hinge there to connect this side to the underneath and we also want to get rid of this so that we connect this side to the bottom which is connected to that so that'll be one piece at the moment it's separate and let's take a look at it 
at, at the moment you can see that we've got separate pieces but I kind of like to keep them all together because now if I had to move them I have to move all of them so what I want to do is I want to join well these sides are joined to the bottom but at the moment the bottom is separate to the top so let's create a hinge a virtual hinge there now we've got the bottom going right over and it stops here so we need to get rid of that need to get rid of that and that comes down and stops there so basically it goes from the bottom all the way over to the top as well as from the side underneath to the other side and there we have it so we can grab that now and we can reposition it and it's sort of a bit wonky because of as you can see how it's modeled but um standard practice let's put a UV on it and have a look use texture once again we've got our whole object UV there is no distortion you can see all the squares still look square you can see that there's a little bit of a tilt and that's because of this here but you could always just go in there select the points and reposition it like I said it doesn't really matter if you were going in to paint I suppose you could clean it up a little bit just using your regular tools like the drag tool moving points around to sort of get it a little bit more even but that's it that's that's how it's done okay now so let's take a look at this example here as you can see here if I select that polygon and go in you can notice that it's all distorted and this is this gives you a, a really good idea of what, what I've been uh, talking about with regards to distortion as you can see all the rest of the checkers are quite um, square and then when we get to this area here it's really really messed up and if I select them you can see here in a UV that something went wrong obviously I must have missed some polygons or whatever when I created the UV um, so what I want to do is I want to select the whole thing select connected hit um, hide unselected and now I've got that little piece of armor on its own so what I want to do now is, is I want to go in and I want to select that face again and making sure that this time I, I include this last little piece but rather than boy doing that I've got a part that I created and once again I'm going to hit um, hide unselected so I just want to show you something real quick say for example bring everything back say we've selected this whole object and I've missed a couple of polygons and we go in and you go oh no and we've deselected like oh no it's, for example it's taken me ages to select all that well don't stress too much with your UV you can basically go in there oh sorry not UV select all that's here and um, un unhide the um, rest of the object reselect that area and then hide the unselected rather than going in and then redoing it all over again okay so now that we've got this part in here like I said earlier I only did the front face so what I want to do is I want to separate the front face from the back and rather than going in and boring you all with selecting I've created a part so I'll select that and hide unselected and now we've got our piece of the object that relates directly to our UV and as you can see we've got our messed up piece here so what we'll do now is we'll just select that and remember if we don't select it and hit clear map it's going to clear the whole map so we make sure that we select it and hit clear map now if I reveal everything you'll notice now that it's no longer um, textured by the UV so we'll go and create a new one once again rather than doing all that selection I'll just create the part and hide the rest now that we've got that there 
we don't need to create any seams because it seems pretty obvious that it just needs to be flattened out we'll do an unwrap and then um, unhide oops maybe I shouldn't have done that I'll just select it via there and now that it's selected I can move it around and scale it down and try to reposition it I think it's something like that and it's stretched out a little bit something like that anyway so now basically if we look at that corner it's perfect it's not all distorted and funky and if you look down here everything is all connected so there we have it that's how to um, repair some um, bad UVing